To create the design, you need to add a cube, then scale this cube along the z-axis, then scale it along the y-axis, s, y. Apply the scale, then go to the edit mode, select this corner edges, and control B, add 4 segment bevel, and give the proper bevel width. After that, select everything, and press M, merge by distance. So double words will get merge. Then shift A, mesh, and add a rounded cube. Now here, in the division section, give the value 4. Now scale it along the y-axis, S, Y. And S, X, scale it along the x-axis, like this. Now, just move it in this way, and scale it along the z-axis, like this. Now you got something like this. Shift D to duplicate it, and hide it. Now select this part and this part, and use the boolean operation difference. So you will get this kind of design. Apply the boolean modifier and you can delete the cutter object. Now select everything and mesh symmetrize. Take the symmetry. One more time, take the symmetry along the x-axis like this. After this, you need to select these words and you can connect them with the knife tool like this. Add one loop cut at here and use the set flow on it. You can select this edge loop and you can use the edge slide add there, like this. Now you can see, you can select these words and press J to connect them. Now select everything and press M and merge by distance. Just increase the merging distance so double words will get merged. Now you can see, it is looking really well. Now select everything, mesh and symmetry. Take the symmetry, like this. Then you can select these spaces and you can delete them. And then you can select this and move it along the z-axis in this way. Or you can just select this space and delete it. The next thing, you need to unhide this object at here. After that, you need to add one loop cut at here and use the set flow. Like this, select this edge loop and double tap G for the edge slide. And just try to match the position of the edge loop like this. Pretty cool, yes. Now, select the one half of the model and delete it. From the bottom side, select these faces and delete them. In this way, so you will get this kind of design. Now you need to select this and select this and then join them. Then you need to select this object and hit the control 2 to add the subd modifier. Then control A and apply the scale. Go to the edit mode, select everything and extrude along the normal. Like this. Add one loop cut at here in this way, then turn on the extra mode, select this bottom faces and press H to hide them. Go a little inside and here you can see the problem, which is like this. Then select this face loop and delete it. Select everything and then press Alt H to unhide this. Select this face loop and delete it. Then select this edge and select this edge and press F to fill the gap. Then select this edge and this edge press F to fill the gap. After that you can select this edge and press F to complete this circle like this. Ok. Then select this edge and press F to fill these gaps to complete this circle. Pretty simple. Then select this edge and one more time press F to fill this circle like this. And now you can see then select everything and mesh symmetrize and then you can check the face orientation and then select everything and press alt and recalculate the normal. Now we are getting the right face orientation. You can add one loop cut at here and one loop cut at here from the outside. Add one loop cut at here, you can select this edge loop and with the control B add a loop cut like this. Here you can add one loop cut, add one loop cut at here. Then select this words and press M and merge at last. Same thing here also and then dissolve them. Similarly, you need to add one loop cut from here also and then merge these words. Then here also you need to select this words and press M and merge at last. Then you can dissolve these words. Then add one loop cut like this. Add one loop cut like this. Then select this edge loops with the shortest path selection. 
and use the eighth slide double tap G like this then you can select this edge loop here and select this edge loop and you can use the set flow to enter in the proper curve now select this verse and snap your 3D cursor at it and then shift A mesh add a cylinder add 8 word cylinder and scale it down you just delete this sub modifier now snap 3D cursor to the world origin and then set the origin to the 3D cursor add a mirror modifier then apply that mirror modifier select both the objects and use the boolean operation difference now apply the boolean modifier and hide the cutter object now create a right topology for this it is pretty simple select this word select this word press m and merge at last then select this word this word press m merge at last this word and this words press J to join them same thing at the bottom side then select this face loop and delete it select this H loop and press F select this H loop and press F select these faces then select this face and select this face and breach faces like this then go to the mat calf and turn on the cavity now you can see we are getting decent looking design so in this way we can create this kind of design so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel bye bye so next video take care